This morning, the world's largest music streaming site is going public on the New York Stock Exchange. Analysts say the company could be valued at more than $20 billion. That's with a B. Spotify will launch with a direct listing of shares, not an IPO. So this removes the traditional role of investment banks. It means existing Spotify shareholders can sell stocks directly to the public. Wow, the company says the goal is to make investment in the business more transparent. So only on CBS This Morning, Spotify co-founder and CEO Daniel Eck joins us at the table to discuss. Congratulations is in order to you, Mr. Eck, this morning. Thank you. But, but clearly you didn't get the memo, because normally when people do this, they're down on the stock floor, they're ringing right. the bell, they're taking pictures, right. everybody's congratulating them. You're here because you wanted to do it differently. Why? Well, um, I, I, I really think that when you look at our company um, and when I started thinking about this, um, we started this company when I was 23 years old. What were you thinking at the time? Well, I mean, for, for me, as someone growing up in a suburb, working class suburb in Stockholm, I, I, I couldn't afford all the music. So back in 98, 99, um, I was really thinking about how I could get all that music and do it in a legal way while at the same time compensating the artist. Mm -hmm. um, and that's where the idea of Spotify came up. And so we're now like a decade into that journey. And I, I really just feel like we're in the second inning. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, so while this is obviously a big day and I'm very proud of my employees, I really just feel like we're in the early days, not celebrating the end days mm -hmm. as so many other companies are doing. are doing. What have you learned about the way people listen to music? One thing, obviously, is they're willing to stream music instead right. of having it in their hands. Right. But what else are you learning about the way people have behaved in this new world? Well, I think the most interesting things is when you have all the world's music in your pocket, uh, you start listening to a lot more music than you ever did before, by a lot more artists than you ever did before, and in very different moments of time. So take New Yorkers as an example. It turns out that the number one uh, time that New Yorkers listen to music is between 10 p.m. and 11 p.m., even on weekdays. Whoa, okay. Uh, so it's really the city that never sleeps, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Last, really night, did, yeah. yeah. last night at 10 p.m., I made a playlist that took good. me an hour. Yeah. Right. So. You really can focus on what people are listening to and when they're listening to it. Yeah. That, it, that's it, what you do. And we can get you on all platforms. That's the thing. I was at the dentist yesterday. They said, what do you want to hear? We have everything on Spotify. It's right. like Bruce Springsteen's greatest hits. I right. mean, so instantly they cue it up. Yeah, exactly. And that's the interesting thing. And that's whether you're in your car or whether you're in your home or whether you're at the gym. Um, and, and that's the other thing that's really different about how consumers are doing this. They're, they're really going for gym playlists. They're going for the barbecue playlist that we have uh, and really setting different moods and moments. And but Daniel, you stepped on some toes because the artists, let's take Taylor, for instance, they thought they weren't fairly compensated. Right. So, you know, you bruised a lot of people's feelings. And now you and Taylor are back together. There's a song, she's got a song, Love Story. Right. It says, Baby, Just Say Yes. Is that yeah. what you did? <laughs> well, <laughs> what did you write that for you? Yeah, it, it baby, was, Just Say Yes. It was slightly more complicated than that. <laughs> uh, but look, I mean, I, I, for, for me, uh, first off, like, I, I, I should have done a much better job communicating this. Uh, so I take full ownership for doing that. Did you uh, go to her? Yeah, I, I went to Nashville many, many times and talked to her team, uh, mm -hmm. spent more time directly explaining the model, why streaming mattered. Um, and, and the great news is I think she saw how streaming was growing. I think she saw that fans were asking for it. Uh, so eventually, when the new album came up, um, she uh, came to Stockholm and spent some time with our team there, figuring out a way that made sense for her. Well, you've got some enviable rivals, including yes. Apple. I see you wearing an Apple watch, so you <laughs> yeah. haven't banned the yeah, products right. themselves. But uh, the Wall Street Journal is reporting that they're going to take over as the number one streaming site by this summer. Are is you that scared? Where are you? What are you doing? You're scared? Well, we are about twice the size of them. So um, I think we've still got some room and uh, I'm very happy with the growth that we're seeing uh, in our business. I can't speak for them, but I, I feel pretty comfortable. But aren't you a little concerned though? Well, I, the, the funny thing is like when you have something like music that billions of people around the world uh, care about, you're never going to be alone, right? Yeah. Like this is too big uh, and it matters to, for too many people. So actually what we've found is when we've got competition, it actually grows the market because more people are now talking about streaming. It's easy to forget that just three years ago, even in the U.S., streaming wasn't really That's a thing. True. It was yeah. still yeah. downloading songs. 
So this helps educate the market, and that's equally true across the world. Be honest, are you going to follow the stock price at all today? Uh, well, I'll, I'll look at yes. it when it opens, <laughs> yeah. but, but uh, my focus is really on the long term. Yeah, yeah. All right. you're, you're always yeah. looking at the big picture. You're not like the other kids in the class, are you? They call you a slayer and a savior. What do you say? Well, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I don't really focus on that. I focus on getting people to listen to more music uh, than ever before. All, all right, right, Daniel. Thank you. Mission Mission last night, right? much. I know. Well, Mission surprise, I'm here at all. Thanks so much, Daniel. <laughs> well, thank you much. so much for having me. We're glad really appreciate it. Congratulations. And you can always discover the music we play on our broadcast by following the show's Spotify playlist. Check CBSThisMorning.com for daily playlist po posts.